okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a home, this ain't a phone. Grind never stop and I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the home. What's up, y'all? It's Elena, and I'm going to be reacting to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 6, Episode 6. Last episode, Mac and Charlie tried to get into this pool, and they was not having it. It was at capacity, and they needed sponsors to even, like, get in there. So they had the idea to, you know, make their own pool. They chose the dirtiest, oldest pool they could find. Terrible pool. They tried to clean it up and fix it up. It went terribly wrong. They ended up getting trapped in the pool. It was a whole mess. And then... While they was doing that, Mac and Dennis, they wanted to get into the pool too, but they couldn't do it. Dennis ended up getting beat up, tackled. <laughs> he really tried to like get in there without anybody's permission. I guess he thought he was just above the pool's policy. So he just walked in there and got tackled. But at the end of the episode, they all had like their own little happy ending. You know, they ended up on the street playing with a fire hydrant and you know, it was a, it was a happy ending, I guess. But yeah, if y'all didn't see my last reaction, go ahead and check that out. But if you want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Let's get into it. Oh, who's this? Hey, what are you doing? I got a tickle, a really bad one. Oh, shit, are you getting sick? If you're getting sick, stay away from us. No, 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 no. I better not be getting sick. I can't be getting sick. I gotta be Girl. Able to tomorrow. Josh Groban, Artemis and I got backstage passes to his concert in the park tomorrow. Charles Groban is coming in concert and you didn't tell us? Aww. We love Charles Groban. That dude is hysterical. I love that guy. He brings yeah. out the curmudgeon in. Yeah. No, no. The what? Different guy. Josh Groban. That's who I'm talking about. Oh. Charles Groban is a bitter old man with a giant head, and Josh Groban is a beautiful singer with the voice of an angel. Oh, he's oh. a singer. Call Charles Groban a bitter old man one more time and oh, see shit. what happens. Oh, 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 calm down. All right. Whoa. Okay. Sorry. Calm down. No, no big deal. I gotta go home anyway. I should rest. No, don't come near me. You don't make right. me sick. All right, don't touch me. Don't make me hey, sick. Get stop out. It. Mom, mom, calm down. Calm down, listen to me, okay? Here's what you do, okay? You close the curtains and you mind your own business, right? No, they're not okay. terrorists. They're just Muslims. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna hang up. Okay? Hanging up. Unbelievable, dude. Ever since my Uncle Jack moved out, my mom's going crazy. She's like, help me with this. Help me with oh, this. he moved wash out. Floor, wash the ceiling, clean my car, get this, fix that. And I'm very much looking forward to not taking care of anyone when I'm older. <laughs> Well, what? Well, you're not going to take care of me when I'm old? Hell no, I'm not going to take care of you. You were a terrible father to me. Oh, I think Dee ain't going to take care of me. She'll take care oh, of Dee's me. Not gonna She's take not going to take care of you either. She's going to give her the pool cube because she had a little cough. Forget about it. That's her. Answer the phone, Charlie. Uh -huh. I'm just going to let her ring because it's crazy shit. Charlie, answer the goddamn phone. It's not anything just answer... serious, Mac. What? Hello? What? What is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that is a serious thing. Okay, I'll let him know. Uh, Mac, your mom burned her house down? She burned it down? Like on purpose? <laughs> or was it? I don't know. I don't know. We just, I'm just gonna have to find out, I guess. <laughs> hey -o. Good news, Dennis. Mom's okay. Oh, no. She fell asleep with a lit cigarette in her mouth and burned the entire house down, but the good news is she's fine. Uh, oh, great. She didn't burn her damn self? Um, where is she going to be staying? Here, of course. I'll stay in a shelter. Hey, there's an idea. Shelter. Absolutely not. Okay, well, what about a nice nursing home? A nursing home? Do you have any idea what happens in those places, dude? Why don't I just rape her myself? Whoa. Rape her? What are you talking about? What? Whoa. Yeah, got your dog. Poppins! Hey, buddy! How you doing? Poppins? That dog God, needs a bath. Yeah, didn't you get him when you were like 10? Oh, yeah. This dog is indestructible, dude. Yeah, that dog is nasty, man. I mean, he was like coughing the whole way over here. He ate a couple cigarette butts off the ground. He's got a wheeze. He might have emphysema, man. Oh, that's entirely possible. It looks like his eye is falling out. Oh, is it? Well, yeah. it just bulges. Yeah, it bulges out a yeah, little bit. Yeah, what you there. do is you just pop it back in with your knuckle. No, I'll show what? you. What? No, it's really easy. I'm never going to do that. What, Mom? What? I'm not going to vacuum your ceiling. Um, because I already did it? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, please. Are the same as you won't get a splinter. I have an idea that's going to solve all of our problems here. I do. I think your moms are going to live together. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. Going to be great. But Mrs. Mac, your mom together could be the perfect situation. Come on. They could be like the Golden Girls. No. You know, a couple of old ladies getting together, chasing men, eating cheesecake. That'd be cool. Sure, whatever. It's oh, not going to be like that, idea. but... My mom's going to be a tough sell, man. Uh -huh. I'll talk her into it. Uh -huh. It popped back out. <laughs> 
What the hell are you doing? Oh, I went to the health food store. I just grabbed a whole bunch of shit. It's supposed to boost my immune system. I'm not gonna miss that show, Frank. I'm a Grovenite. What you're saying is very dorky. <laughs> Nevertheless, I brought you some stuff. A little bit of care package here. What's, uh, what's your angle? What are you doing? Deandra, we have to take care of each other. I'm oh. gonna take care of you now, but when I'm old... Now school, we gotta take care of each other. What? No! No, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. It's you're too late, head. Frank. You okay? Yeah. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Please. Put your head back. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, oh God. Oh. I got it. All right, well, you know what? You should go relax. Ooh. You should go rest now. Good, look, I'm going to do everything you need. Anything you need, I will do it. You Just make believe I'm your slave. Okay. <laughs> do my laundry. Done. All right. She cleaned up nice. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, ladies, I know this is a lot to digest, and that's why I'm here, to act as an unbiased negotiator in the process and to sort out any problems. Is that Charlie's real mom? They look exactly sure alike. Both comfortable with this new arrangement. I don't want to live with her. Oh, mom, I wouldn't either. She smells. I know she smells. I know she okay, does. You can't talk about my mom like that. Okay. You don't smell, and you look beautiful. Okay. She does. Mrs. Mack has a unique and earthy fragrance i smell like shit okay mom, okay if you know that why don't you take care of that problem what's, what's the problem here oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea mrs mack what do you say what better way to kick off this new relationship than with a new fragrance <laughs> stop talking to me like i'm an asshole yeah. she can't smoke in here know, mom, I... what if you were to switch to some sort of smokeless tobacco alternative oh, <sighs> I know that grunt. She's open to it. Okay. Dog's tied up outside. I'll grab him, bring him inside, and then no, I'll be on my no, way. No dogs. Charlie, tell them. Okay. She is terrified of animals eating her face off. I don't want a dog to eat my face, Charlie. You want a dog eating your face? Uh, well, you know what? That's not a problem. We'll take the dog. I, we're not you taking the dog. I really dog. don't it's want to take the dog. It's not going to eat my mother's face <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming home with us, Dennis, so just accept it, right? All right, all right, all right. Fine. We'll take the dog. Down. It's a sweet dog. All it needs is a bath and a vet Wimpy. appointment. Uh, laundry's done. Oh, he folded it too. That's part of my outfit for tomorrow. So why don't you go ahead and run an iron over those? Ooh, <laughs> very whitey white. Uh, oh, you're not okay. ragging it, are you? What? what? Gross, Frank. Come on. Still I don't periods? know why. You... What are you doing? Stop asking me that. What? Gross. Frank, come, come on. I'm trying to bond with you. Not what in that way. Asking me if I still get periods. What's that stuff you're putting on? That's beautiful. What is it? Self tanner. Hey, 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 look who I brought. It's Poppins. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, Poppins? Yeah. He's still mm -hmm. alive? Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured he could keep you company while you're sick. No. She had a cat, and we know how that ended up. He smells like piss. <laughs> is it? Uh, uh, oh, nine? poor doggy. Uh, by the way, uh, you're going to want to keep him away from that cream, too, because he'll, he'll eat that shit. Yeah, he ate a whole bottle of shampoo at our apartment earlier. He loves shit like that. Wow. Yeah. Sounds sounds great. I'm he's calling great. the cops. Over. Yeah. He's a great dog. I need somebody to take care of me when I'm old and sick. Oh Jesus, you're still worried about that? Why don't you just check yourself into a nursing home, Frank? You have the money. And you're I'm yeah, you're rich. One of those crypts. As soon as you drop the soap, they rip your butt. That's what happens. <laughs> Matt told me. What in God's name? You people have a very strange conception of what goes on in nursing oh homes. Oh my God. Free juice now. Oh my Lord. Oh, the bitch is driving me crazy. She's not even sick anymore. She just called your daughter a bitch. Plan, Frank, you need to thrust her into a hostile environment so that she needs you to protect her. I should dump her under the bridge. Dump her under the bridge? No, don't dump her down by the bridge. What are you talking about? No, you need to be there, Frank. That's the whole point of this. Just take you to your apartment, okay? Now, secondly, if this is going to work, then she's going to need to feel a little bit more than just a tickle in her throat. So if she's not feeling sick, well, then we're just going to have to make her feel sick. She's pregnant. You're good. Yeah, well, I'll fix her, Frank. You're good. Right. That's what I do. Dennis, listen, we should hang out more together. Do they know that she's pregnant? Because she's clearly pregnant. Like, <laughs> they probably too dumb to even realize it. What the fuck? Oh. We're not even talking to each other. They haven't even touched your cheesecake. I mean, I feel like if you and I were in a room with a perfectly good cheesecake, all sorts of conversation would start happening. Go gossip. About what? Maybe you were at a supermarket one time and you met a cute guy and you were feeling saucy and then you wanted to go back and talk to your friend, Sophia. So you're like Blanche and she's like Sophia, so go ahead. I don't go to the supermarket. 
The shopping carts are dangerous. Shopping carts are not so dangerous. Well, there's no how do you get food? How did you get that cheesecake? Can we turn the fan on? Okay, well, the fan is broken. It hasn't worked for years. Oh, oh, okay, that's good. My mom's very good with her hands. Maybe she could fix it. Oh, yeah? Mom was the manager of Jiffy Loop for many years. Never heard about this. Yeah, well, she doesn't like to brag. It's not her style. Yeah, but she started at the bottom, worked her way to the tippy top. All right, well, there's only three people working at Jiffy Lube, so it's not really a high climb. Okay, well, please don't diminish my mother's achievements, All right, okay? well, don't get too excited about your mother's achievements. Okay, could you, Mom, you want to take a look at that fan and see if you can fix it? <laughs> what was that? It means not right now, but there's a possibility that I could get to it tomorrow. See, the problem is once that sun goes down, you're not going to get this woman to do anything because she thrives on sunlight. She seems like she's never been in sunlight. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Oh, Charlie, she's fitting into my pores. Okay, oh my god. Take it up with her. Have a conversation with her. Everybody, can we you just let's relax for a second? It. Maybe I can get you like a, like a beer bottle. Would that be okay? An okay. empty beer bottle to spit in. Thank you for being a friend. Travel yeah. down the road and back, back again. again. The heart is true. <laughs> you gotta her. Charlie, be nice. To, well, I don't care about it. After what he'd been put through when he was a kid, I don't respect her. Look at her! Charlie, don't yell at her. I don't know. You're the worst dad. Robin! Oh, I'll come find you. Okay. Daddy's here. Take it easy, honey. Okay, honey, don't get up. Stay right where you are. Don't go by the knives. Ooh. Let me backstage. I think she's going backstage. <laughs> you think so, good? Honey, honey, you want a blankie? I've never seen anything. Oh, she's out. Come on, She's going out. Ooh, she's gonna hit the skateboard. Ooh. Okay. Wow, did you see that? Looks <laughs> like Mr. Magoo. <laughs> Oh no. Ooh, oh. Magoo never made that mistake. Terrible. Terrible family. Two, three. <sighs> Good night, honey. Good night, man. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, she has OCD? One, two, three. One, two. Mrs. Three. Kelly? Yes? Why are you doing everything in threes? Oh, so Charlie doesn't die. What? One, two, oh. three. Is it bad that I do things in threes too? I just can't help it. Is she waking up my mom? No, 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 no. My mom does not like to be woken up. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, she's about to get her ass whooped. Get out of here, God damn it! Okay. Mom, who is that? Oh man, that was close. Now you see where I get my temper. Yeah, huh? one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> huh? What was that? Oh, you know, just playing it safe. She's been doing it. I'm still alive. <laughs> Can't be crazy. Yeah, no, that's one, two, very crazy. It does feel good to do stuff in threes. Okay, you know what? I'm pulling the It plug does, the Charlie. Thing, right? It really does. Is this and this, this has got to stop. Yeah. One, two, three, one, what two, three. What do you three. think that, that that's accomplishing? <laughs> Here you go. Uh, oh, Mom. Oh. Uh, Where's your chewing tobacco? You know Mrs. Kelly doesn't like the smoke. Oh, the ceiling fan is gonna push all the smoke outside the windows. Oh yeah? Oh, she fixed she's it? The fan? See, oh, she's fixing it. It's very handy. Oh, the Muslims are back. <laughs> Where do you think they're coming and going from? Damn foreigners. I wish they'd all go back to the desert. Yeah. Oh, so it does okay. seem like they're bonding. Yeah, I mean, it's not cool. really a Golden Girls type conversation. It's like a racist conversation, but... Where the hell is my damn screwdriver? I'm wiping all the germs off for you. Quit cleaning my damn tools and sit your ass down. You like oh. it? Yes, I do. Please don't hit me. I have sensitive skin. I can't be Charlie's mom. The way I would have whooped Max's mom's ass for putting her hands on me and talking to me like this ain't my damn house. Mm. I'm gonna let it go though. What the hell? Good morning, sleepyhead. Yeah, you're all tied up. It's for your own safety. What is going on with my face? It's the bed yeah. bugs. But oh, I thought. Last a little while, but it'll go away. But... I was gonna say she fell down a flight of stairs. The dog stinks. Get the Fair dog enough. off. Fair enough. Yeah, Poppins, go. Hop up, Poppins. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, I think Poppins got into the juice. What? Oh, no. What juice? Oh, he's ice cold. He's dead? Yes, he's dead. Poppins is dead? 
Well, why would he be dead from the juice? We killed Poppins? Oh, oh shit! Oh, juice? oh my god, Matt's gonna have a fit, dude. I drank oh, a lot of that do? juice. I remember that very clearly. Oh, I have an idea, Frank. I have an idea. Fixer's always got a fix, right? Yeah, what, what oh, this is gonna work. This is a good idea. Grab Poppins. Let's go. Come on. Take the dog. Grab the Wait, dog. What was in the juice? Stay right Just there. Just look like you guys. You no, stay I don't want right to stay here. You guys, I got Groban in the park. I got a dead dog. I got Groban in the park. I'm Tommy. What was in the juice? Damn, dude. Three. One, two, three. Charlie. I think you're right, dude. I feel better about this. Yeah, it's More in control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's, yeah. Happening? Uh, huh? what's happening, guys? Hey, wh what was in that trash bag? Poppins. What? Well, he ate a lot of cold medicine and he croaked. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> he got into some cold <laughs> medicine. <laughs> so you throw him in the trash? Yeah, what, what are you going to do? Send him to the moon? <laughs> right. I mean, come on. No, I want to have a proper burial for him. <laughs> it seemed proper God's enough sake. for Poppins, you know. Oh, no. He's fine. What? I thought so. Yeah, he's just sitting here chowing down on a diaper. Oh. Hey, look at him. <laughs> look at that dog. Good boy. Ah, hey. Good boy. Back to the bar or what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, so so fuck D, right? Yo, Frank, it's Artemis. Have you seen D? I'm backstage at Groban and the party is pumping. Look, if you see that biatch, tell her to get her ass down here because Groban's feeling frisky and somebody's got to tap that ass. Talk to you later. <laughs> Why didn't Dee just slide through the ropes? It's not like she couldn't move at all. She was moving. She was wiggling around. Like, she could have just left. But I know it's for the show and for the script, so they had to make it seem like she couldn't escape. Now, it was a good idea for Charlie's mom and Max's mom to get together and be roommates and whatnot. It was perfect because now Charlie's mom could leave Charlie alone and Max's mom don't have to move in with Max and Dennis. It's a win-win. But... Max's mom is gonna have to learn some respect. She lucky Charlie's mom is a little weakling because if she was in my house, first of all, she wouldn't even be in my house because for one, you're not gonna smoke in my house. And for two, you're gonna speak when you're spoken to. Don't be over here grunting when I ask you a question. And you're gonna show me some respect, okay? She's just spitting everywhere. She just pushing Charlie's mom and hitting her. Like, girl. But I don't really feel bad for Charlie's mom because she deserves it for everything she put Charlie through. She deserves it for being such a terrible mother. She deserves it. And I really hope that Uncle Jack is registered because if he moved out, who knows where he's at right now? Like, I need him to be under surveillance because I'm, I'm kind of scared for everybody else in Philly right now because no. And is this the first episode D didn't do anything wrong and she still got treated like shit? No, it's not. Because she didn't do nothing wrong during the um the Philadelphia episode. She didn't do nothing wrong then either. And she still got poisoned. And she got poisoned again this episode. What's wrong with these people? Why do they keep torturing Dee? And Frank really think that that's going to help him get Dee on his side to take care of him when he's old and decrepit? Frank is... I, I just don't understand the thought process. He really thought, yes, let me poison my daughter. First of all, he said, let me throw her under the bridge. Like, uh, y'all, I'm not, I'm not even going to question it no more at this point. It's too much. And to be honest, Frank deserves to die alone <laughs> in that damn nursing home. He does not deserve any sympathy from his kids. He was a terrible father. He's still a terrible father. And he's going to continue to be a terrible father. And probably until he dies. I wouldn't be surprised. But this episode was hilarious, though. If y'all want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt. This ain't a phone. Grind never stopping. I'm keeping it.